by McDonald's, Powers, Queensland Ball and Bread, Medway Bank and Ansett Australia. It's Rugby League's one day of the year. After seven months of relentless competition, the game's greatest prizes go up for grabs at the Sydney Football Stadium. Ballons pursued and away from the... Oh, chance for Canterbury! McCracken! McCracken! He gets it over the line! Here's Mullins down the right of the ground! They're coming at him, but they won't get him! And this champion fullback scores! Headlining Grand Final Sunday is the mighty rematch between minor premiers, the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, and the star-studded Canberra Raiders. Here's Maninga! Maninga! Oh, the big bloke! He stampedes across! You'll witness all the thrills of the reserve grade decider between the Newcastle Knights and the Cronulla Sharks. Plus, the stars of the future as the Young Sharks take on the Eastern Suburbs Roosters in the President's Cup Grand Final. You'll experience all the drama. It's me! He puts it down under the bar! We are looking at a draw! All the atmosphere. The Winfield Cup Grand Final is underway. And all the footballing brilliance of Rugby League's greatest showpiece. The Winfield Cup Grand Final. Right here on Wide World of Sports. Hello and welcome to the Sydney Football Stadium on Grand Final Day 1994 and what a magnificent scene we have here. It's around about a forecast temperature of 19, 20 degrees today. The shot of Sydney Harbour, all that uh, wonderful blue water stretching across to the Sydney Football Stadium. There you can see it in the middle of your screen which around about 3 o'clock this afternoon will have 42 odd thousand people here for the Grand Final, the main game between the Bulldogs and the Canberra Raiders. It is a terrific scene, a great day of the year, the grand final. And uh, already outside, people are getting ready to march into the ground as the, uh, the mill around, the supporters. There you can see plenty of Bulldog supporters. And no doubt in amongst them, we'll see some Raiders as the uh, day unfolds. But uh, a very, very special day as far as rugby league concerned in Sydney for 1994. And uh, welcome to our coverage and also welcome to uh, Paul Vorton and Peter Sterling. Looking forward to it uh, coming through the gates like say there's nothing like today it's the best day of the year as far as all rugby league community is concerned and uh should be a top match and if it's half as good as semi-final two weeks ago it'll be a beauty won't it still like your thoughts well i think the nice thing ken is we've probably got the two most entertaining teams that have come through uh, a nice contrast of styles as well. I think Canberra will be trying to keep the game as open as possible. Canterbury's best chance is really to close it down. A lot been said through the week, uh, Sterling Fatty, about John Lomax and uh, subsequently missing out on this grand final. You made the observation last week that North Sydney, a week before, that North Sydney would miss uh, uh, their last and more than the Canberra would miss Lomax. Do you think that's the case this weekend? No, not really. I, I think in that particular game with the workload that Gary Larson does have, that was extremely important to North Sydney's chances. Lomax has been Canberra's best go-forward man in grand finals. That's exactly what you need. It's going to be interesting to see. We've had a little bit of a chat about it, whether Paul Osborne will start the game. Probably believe that will be the way that Tim Sheens will go. Must be very tempted to go with David Wesley, who's been sensational coming well, on I, I off the bench. I think they should start with Paul Osborne. He's a, a, a very gifted player. He's a tough player. And he's been there and done it all before as far as the big games are concerned. I think he'll do the job. He'll probably stay on for 15, 20 minutes and then bring these super subs. I've got Hetherington and Wesley on and uh, Campbell will be looking good. Well, a terrific uh, day of football for both of you because we're going to be showing all three grades. And this is how they match up. The Winfield Cup, President's Cup, we're going to be seeing Cronulla Sutherland up against Eastern Suburbs. Cronulla have got uh, such tremendous talent this year, particularly in the lower grades and in this particular form of football. Graham Annesley is the referee. The kickoff time, 10.30. Then we'll follow that up with the reserve grade uh, grand final. Cronulla once again represented up against Newcastle, a very formidable outfit. Bill Harrigan, the referee, kickoff there, 12.20. And then the main game, 3 o'clock between the Canterbury Bulldogs and the Canberra Raiders. Referee Greg McCallum, this game will be commercial free. I must uh, reiterate that, commercial free, the first great game this afternoon. Boy, oh boy, am I looking forward to that. I guess a lot of uh, people are look, saying, if Canberra are fully fit, and that's the big if, I guess, this afternoon. Any mail on just how everyone's pulled up? 
No, very difficult to get mail out of Canberra, unfortunately. <laughs> I suppose a little bit insulated down there. But there must be some doubt over guys like David Ferner, who's had problems with a cork. Uh, Brett Mullins, we know, has had rib cartilage, and that isn't something that just goes away overnight. So they've probably got a couple of blokes wounded. That's the big advantage that Canterbury do have, is the fact they've been sitting back, they're freshened up, they're ready to go. They've got no excuses. Any suspicions there at all, Fatty? I don't think so. I think they'll all be fit. Uh, probably the mental aspect is something that the players will have to overcome, Canberra, with these niggling injuries they've had. But as far as a player as far as a player is concerned, grand final day is what it's all about. It's what we all aspire to play in. I was lucky enough to play in three and had one victory. And you played in half a dozen or so and you smacked us a couple of times. But it's what it's what it's all about is on a grand final day you get there and mentally uh, I don't care, you can run out with a broken leg and still play a blinder. Sort of forget about it. Yeah, don't feel got a lot it. of pain, that's for sure. OK. With the minor premiers making it through to the grand final in all three grades, today's games are certain to provide a fitting climax to what has been a brilliant season of rugby league. Being a kangaroo to a year, season 1994 was always destined to bring out the very best of the players.